Hello everyone, welcome back to part 6 of our playthrough, that's our part we're up to now. Just going to decide on what outfit we should wear for um, the part. I'm thinking... Might go with the OG one, you know, the original. Uh, not actually, we'll go, we'll go with the movie one. We'll try and put them all in the movie outfits. Um, although Groot looks the most badass like that, we'll, we'll, we will go with the movie outfits. I hope you are all enjoying the playthrough so far. <clears throat> um, cause I'm enjoying recording it for you. Yeah, that's the only outfit we haven't got for Drax. Ah, I don't even know where we can get it from. <laughs> that's the tough part. So we'll just go with the normal Drax. Um, yeah. Because if you remember last time, it was bugging out a bit with the weapons. What did Mantis um, say to you? Nothing of consequence. Your faith. <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. What the heck was that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord. Watch yourself, jerky red guy. Can you believe that? Uh, so go talk to Cosmo alone. So we're isolated all alone. Yeah. So this is the planet you find this outfit on, by the way. Just thought to let you know that. Um so yeah. That's the game's done too much. You gotta do is take the right cup to win. Afternoon, Captain Todd. Are reading the midway? Ready to try your luck or is it skill? Couldn't be simpler. Find the ball, win the pariahs. What do you say? This isn't one of those games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain, Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good boss should have cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no crap, no cheats, no cons, no sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low stakes game just to prove that I'm on the up and What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Um, go on, let's have a go. But don't try anything funny. Not me, Captain, not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See? The ball's in this cup. Now, keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right. The cup. Uh, the middle one. Well, I'll be. You got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. You got a shot pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. See, my game's on the level and plumb true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. Yes, you're right. Sharp as attack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen. You know what? I'll have one more go. Oh, what confidence! That's what I like to see. Where's the ball? Keep your eye on the cup with the ball. Here we go, Captain. The ball's in the middle. Oh no. The fuck? That's too bad. It can't. Looks like you lose. She was positive that's where the ball was. The eyes play tricks. Sometimes an iron can't keep up. Something tells me it's not my eyes playing tricks. A nasty bar, Captain. Thanks for the letters. Have yourself a fun day. Hey, wait! Come back here! He stabbed me off for 25 quid. <laughs> uh. Where's Cosmo? Right. Got a free ticket to go in here, like, so why not? That's so ugly.
What is this place? You have stumbled into the wonderful Emporium's gift shop. Would you like to purchase a souvenir? We have some very unique items. Maybe. What kind of things do you sell? Replicas of very rare items. Figures and effigies from lost civilizations. Objet d'art, in other words. Figures? Like dolls? There's a member of my crew, a woman, who might like that kind of thing. A boorish person might call them dolls. But that is neither here nor there. Tell me more about this person. She, uh, also likes swords. Oh, not what does she like. What is she like? Oh, distant and tough. But I think maybe there might be some squishy bits in her somewhere. Ah, I believe I have the perfect item. What do you think? Would you like to make a purchase? It's just the right kind of oh, I will buy the doll. She should love it. A magnificent choice. I presume you will forgo the pff, silk gift wrap. Yeah, this is fine as is. Very well. Enjoy your purchase. <clears throat> Good day. It's a very nice one, lad. That's a collectible, anyway. <laughs> Um, if there's any more games we can play in here, we got a collectible. <coughs> Not a collectible. Let's get a couple of uh, credits back. I'll happily play it. I mean, I can use them. Um, what's this? One arm bandit. Hard to say, but it looks like it's almost ready to pay out. No. Nope. Nah. Nope. I'm not gonna be irresponsible. Cause I bet the Moor is watching me right now. Won't be bad if it was like that where you get a free go. It's down here then. Oh, advanced components today. Oh, normal ones as well. I will take them both. Basic and advanced enough to make a upgrade, but we need rockets if we're going to be upgrading our stuff. So, need to find a little rodent. Right now, all the guardians have abandoned us. Um, so, yeah, we're on our own. This way. I get it now. Um, oh yeah. If you're doing your own playthrough and you want to know where you get this outfit, it is from not here, I just need that. Um, you jump over here and there. Uh, so yeah.
Oh, you little bastards, they robbed me. Hey! Ugh. This is turning into a real scut day. Oh, God. Guess we just go to Cosmo. What's that? Maybe a gaudy bobble will make me feel better. How much is it? Yeah, better not. I'd have to carry it around with me all day. Seven hundred and fifty credits, no chance. I've just had nine fifty robbed off me. Just check if there's any components over here before. Oh, there's Drax. Drax, bud. Is everything all right? Do you believe that this is the edge of the universe, Peter Quill? Well, yeah, because it is. So, uh, this is the thing you had to do? Come to the observation deck to look at the rift? No. I came to honor the memory of my family. They died without meaning. Or honor. I think I know what you mean, man. My mom with the, uh, Shatara game. She also died for no reason. They just... shot her. But at least she's in a better place now. Right? In Katathian religion, we believe that in order to reach Umtaf, one must lead a life filled with purpose. Failure to do so results in banishment to Sarduth. Our families have been cast out of paradise, Peter Quill, and into nothing. That's why you come up here. Yes. To feel close to them. Speak to them. You think that sounds foolish? No, no, not at all. You know, on Earth, a lot of people think that good people go to heaven and are reunited with their loved ones when they die. This heaven sounds pleasant. Yeah, it does. Thinking of her there, my mom. In heaven. Got me halfway through the war. That and my hate for the Shatari who imprisoned me. Ah. Uh, you desired revenge. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. When Thanos murdered my family, for a long time I believed that their wasted lives would be redeemed if I took revenge on him. But then I realized Thanos cannot be killed. But you did kill him. Propaganda, Peter Quill. Spread to quell fears after the war. The fabric of my being, I know he still lives. If you do not mind, Peter Quill, I would like to be left alone now. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, man. Peter Quill. I'd love for them to make a um, Thanos yeah. DLC for this. 
I hope your mother found her way to heaven. <clears throat> that was a nice um, heart to heart we had with Jirax. But now our focus will go back on to getting to Cosmo. I was going to say check under the staircases for any um, components. Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go other way. Holly. Holly. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there. Star Lord. In Holly. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose. Taking the view of nowhere. It's so awkward. Oh. That was a nice little moment. Oh, I don't want to be getting copyright struck. So, short lived. Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure, not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo, then I can deal with the team, if I can find them. Especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude, deep breath. Deep breath. Rather not upset the team. <laughs> making sure there's no... Ah, I see. That's what I didn't want to miss out on.
took it when we got here. Watch it, Star-Lord. And what's a filthy scut-stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that. We might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. <laughs> the point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? The... Uh, I heard nowhere. Mm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him. We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, uh, uh lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die! Wait, the lady ain't want him alive? Hey. <laughs> uh, uh, lady H, whatever Lady Hellbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice! You don't cross Lady H! Uh, uh, triple! Uh, uh, I'll triple it! Yeah, now, nah, Ron. Anybody think to bring refreshments? Trying to weasel out of a beating. Ah. Oh shit. It's food for the <laughs> Guys, this is a big misunderstanding. That's how we make our units. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! Here. No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks, but we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> 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 Draw them apart nice. before shooting, Peter! Cut to pieces! They have this trap ready for a while! Stop moving so much! But armor comes up whenever they're close! Courtesy of Lady H! Great timing, Gamora! No! I knew something was up from the start. Come on, Ross, let's get the Can't let them team up! Big I'll enjoy this! Now this is almost a fair fight! Weren't we supposed to catch all of them? Is muscles.
It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. <laughs> Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. That Pac-Man cake is so good. I'm trying to see if there's any easter eggs on the wall. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? <clears throat> I knew you wouldn't... Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What sort of enemies? I'm not sure exactly. His people were at war. And he knew that if he stayed with us, the war would follow him to Earth. So he made the hard choice. He gave up this life for the sake of his people. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're gonna have to be smart, Fee. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. Oh, 
shit. <gasps> no! Do you, Mom? <laughs> That's so ugly. Miserably. Peter Quill. These lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we ain't no slouch. Where'd the poppies gone? Part of the lead now. You said yourself she'd hunt us to the end of the universe. I had hoped she'd send a monster. Not these two. We would have murderized you. But don't worry. There's more coming. Uh, did you hear that, Peter Quill? A silver lining. Yeah, that's great, Drax. Won't be long Hello? Clabber. Cosmo, uh, mm -mm. I really need Prince to use the bathroom. Real when you wish we did, kid. Be silent. Nice that you finally showed up. Would have been even nicer if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never left. One minute, we're having a great time, and the next... Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Huh. Well, your plan worked a little too well, seeing how we're in jail now. We're all in prisons of our own making, Peter. Don't worry. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Hey, this is a big mistake. I'm innocent. Cosmo, are you out there? Cosmo! Oh, yeah, get your mitts off of him. Ow! A little butter just scratched me. Oh, I'll do more than that. I'll murderize him. <laughs> uh. Hey, guys. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, cram it, Flatnard. Flatnard? Yeah, and a scruff doing one, too. Shut up and get in there. <sighs> Come on, dude. What's your problem? You are. That's why we quit. <laughs> yes, you did. Now stop talking to him. Rocket, buddy, come on. We had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two-bit bounty hunters. Scoff. What did you say? I said scoff. You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself proper like? <sighs> you know what? You're a real piece of ruff, ruff, ruff. I am Groot. I'm roughing that too. Ruff. I mean, man, ruff, ruff, ruff. What? You rough in front of me? I told you a bajillion times, I'm not a roughing animal. What are you talking about? You rough. <laughs> Sorceress, this. Where are we? You ought to have been still on nowhere. <laughs> Osmo! How you doing, buddy? We were just about. <laughs> 
Guardian of Galaxies will tell Cosmo why they broke into Continuum Cortex. Or Cosmo will conjure worse psychic Gulag. Broke into the... the... Do not feed Cosmo Cat Biscuit's Peter Quill. You work with Blood Brothers. Create distraction. So pesky raccoon and sentient tree friend can use continuum cortex. Cosmo also know Guardian of Galaxies have Nova Tracker on ship. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. Right? Right. We're here because something happened on the no Guardian of Galaxy, we're on Nova Rock. Yeah, we went to find Centurion Corral and pay our fine. Why? Strange transmissions spreading across galaxy. Like rabbits in springtime. Cosmos sent many team to investigate, none return. Now Nova Rock sending same signal. Guardian of Galaxy will tell me what they saw. The Nova Corps were killing each other. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joined the cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. <laughs> right away, sir. Fraternity of Raptors. Cult <clears throat> of the Negative Sounds. Universal Church. Whoa, 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 stop. <laughs> that's them. That old man that's with them. His shuttle exploded on the Hallis Hope. Grand Unifier Raker, leader of the Universal Church of Truths. That name ring bell for Cosmo. His old cult. Very powerful during Galactic War. Now, not so much. You said the rock was transmitting a signal. What if the religion were somehow... And yet, the Universal Church of Truths died with gold skin God. Let us investigate the Hallow's Hope for you. <gasps> what? You said none of your teams return, right? Seems to me like you're short-staffed. And we want to find out what happened as much as you do. We do. So let us investigate for you. Always a catch, Peter Quill. And not, not fun, fun kind, kind with Bo. Ball. What Guardian of Galaxies want in return? Simple. Drop the charges. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the world mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. <clears throat> it's not being so easy. Face it, dog breath. You need us. Us? For now. Unless you got someone else stupid enough to go. In Soviet Russia, Cosmo would not trust words of capitalist scum. But this is not motherland. And Cosmo no power of collateral. Guardian ship, stay on nowhere. What? You can't take our ship? My ship. How are we gonna find the Hallow's Hope? Ask Pesky Raccoon. Now come, essences of time. Exactly. To original settlement. From early days, before Tivan group come. You mean the first mining colony is still here? Duh. Now abandoned, <clears throat> mostly. Entirely restored. This is the place you broke into. Broke implies it took effort. Wait, this is the Continuum Cortex? His best, best way, way to reach Nova ship before moves again. 
Corel. Where is she? Nova ship currently in the leader system, orbiting Michael planet. Contraxia. Cosmo not surprised pesky raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. Entire planet now broadcasts same signal as Nova Rock. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. All them bars and betting parlors and brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. We can find Corel and save Contraxia. Maybe we shouldn't make too many guarantees. We're the guardians of the galaxy. This is what we do. I am with you, Peter Quill. You are? Of course. That was a rousing speech. Bootlicker. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across galaxy, but scientists come from many backgrounds. If Thanos had known this was here... Ah. So, what is this? Like another elevator? Hello. They'll figure it out. Please to stand back, Guardian of Galaxies. Whoa! What magnificent witchcraft is this? I know! It's like they've never seen a giant transdimensional hand before. Please to step in ball. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. Can communicate with Cosmo, and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. I would. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. This time, investigate Nova ship. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Goes on the best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. Promises. Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. I am good. You get used to it. In space, we're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between realities, even. What do you mean, between? We could theoretically go wherever and whenever with this thing, even the places that don't exist, but uh, I do. It's incredible. Oh. Avengers, assemble! <laughs> what kind of name is Avengers? <laughs> Does that sound normal? <laughs> normal? You ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, Pat Benatar and Joan Jett watch over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. <laughs> uh, Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. It is obviously an ill omen of our impending deaths. No matter where you hide, I will fight. Or it's an alternate reality. <laughs> I know that sound. I am proud of it. Definitely an alternate reality. <laughs> hey, look! It's Spider Man! Wait, is that Earth? Peter! Mom? Come on, you're late for the promise here. Come on in, Janie. Peter will be up in a second. Really? Janie? Okay. Next stop, Alice Hope. Probably. Hold on, Groot. Here we go. <gasps> Clark and Clark, it's breath. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Look at Clark. Are you guys okay? Do we look okay? Well, hang in there. I'll try to restore gravity. Oh, great. We're gonna be Big stuck Drax like this so forever. Rocket, buddy, what am I looking for? Drax. Tell Scott Lord most ships use external power conduits to generate pseudo gravity in hyperbaric airlocks. Might be just what we need. Then pick it up already. All right. Found some kind of battery. Looks undamaged. Could be useful. Someone tell Scott Lord to hold on to it. Hold on to it, Peter Quill. Okay, I've got two conduits here. Someone tell him to turn them off. Okay, I got the battery installed, Gamora, but nothing's happening. Seriously? Ugh, fine. I'll tell him. Listen up, slug breath. Tell me what you see. Uh, there's a blue wire and two connections, yellow and red. And one big green thing. Don't touch the green thing! Not a great time to start yelling, dude! Okay, okay. First, plug the wire to either connection. All we need is a little jump start. Damn. Either one? Uh, here goes nothing! Oh, crap! You touch the green thing! Get it, you! Walking great, well! Uh, 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 everybody! Just hold on! Whoa. 
Gravity was not restored. You had one job, Quill. I did exactly what. <sighs> If I had any units, I'd bet that mutt knew what we were getting into here. Impressive, Peter Quill. I didn't know you could do that. Neither did I. Those firearms are becoming quite formidable. Second time they've transformed nice. like that. Third. If that was the third time, when was the first? The day I was kidnapped. When my mom died. We should continue our investigation. Should we call Cosmo? Let him know what we found so far? What do you mean a code word? Fine. Brute won't call the mud until we all agree on a code word. Could be useful if we get cornered by whatever's on the ship. How about Quill Kill? Not covert enough. Must be something said in everyday conversation. Dog report item. Something caused Novacore to abandon their ship. Maybe they all just quit. Some I wanted to see what they damn start going wrong. choose, but... Was that a crack? This is the only way out, but the door's got no juice. Must be on a different circuit. Can't you transfer power to it? That'll do it. Why does that keep happening? There, you all felt that, right? Yup. The same thing happened when I tried to restore the gravity. Okay. It ain't never his fault, is it, Groot? Dast. Looks just like what happened on the rock. Indeed. It was a desperate attempt at a last defensive position. If this was a fight, then where are all the bodies? Good point. There weren't any in the evacuation hangar either. Maybe everyone escaped. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Peter. Okay, we need to get to Corel's office. Someone tell Oh shit, this is the right way. Oh, come on, dude. Can't we just talk to each other? Fine. I just wanted to um, see what's in this door back here. Now you are just being spiteful. Okay. Nothing. That's what it was. Absolutely not. Strange rumbling on ship continues. Maybe keep track of your items mentally? That is what I am doing. <clears throat> he means... Never mind. Wish I knew the layout of this tub better. Then we could figure out where this started. You know where we are, Gamora? Not really. Anova never really let me out of their sight. They had good reason not to trust me. This again? I was only stating that Nova's position was trusted. Exactly. Here's the deal. We figure out what is going on here, and then we can figure out how to work better together. So, just ignore the obvious while it's inconvenient? Yes. First thing we do when we get back on the Milano is have a big talk. Pinky swear. That is the weakest. No wonder we've been stumbling around in the dark. Whoa, ho, ho. look at you, you sexy beast. A flirting rocket. Is it supposed to be upside down? Eh, only if you wanted to channel all the ship's power up through the ceiling. Makes no sense to me. There must be a reason. A bad one. Try that console. Eh, we can use this to re-invert the core, or, uh, uh de-invert... Uh, de-vert? Rocket. Eh, the console's safety locked because the mounting arms are retracted. If we can pop them out of them side panels, we can flip the core. There's gotta be more machinery up there. Gamora, give me a boost! Of course! Definitely something up here! Hell yeah, it worked! You know, them guns would make better engineering tools than weapons. Nice try. Let's get the other one free. Alright, Gamora, let's get the second one done. Okay. <laughs> Mm. 
Work without the arms. Guys, we've got incoming. Yeah, it's more than an infection. Great. Yeah. Hopefully, find Nova Corps here, but not like this. Must find a way up there and discover why. For the dog report. Rocket, what's that console telling you? That you should come do the honors. Okay. Whoa! Surprise! This whole thing's a lift. We can ride it all the way up there. I guess Nova grunts and grease monkeys don't get the cool flying suits. Typical. Nobody respects their engineers these days. If you want efficiency, you gotta make Whoa! Clark! Rocket clamps! They're shutting us down! More freaks approach! Florker's de re inverted the core again! We just have to re de re invert it back! After we take uh. some heads! Don't get hit by the mine! <laughs> You're up, big guy! Perish! Careful! They're bringing out the big gun! Trust me! Those Nova Core cannons will take your head off! Sure. That instantly gets rocked up, so I don't mind. I fought a ton of cheating scum nuts in my time, Quill. Same here. But the way these creeps cheat is flarkin' criminal. They keep it up. They're gonna win this fight in no time. No way these creeps are gonna win. Not against us. We're wanted men. And women. We're renegades. We roll the dice because we're not afraid. And because we like to. That's the spirit. We gotta fight to survive. Who's with me? Feel my wrath! Yes! Feel him! Good talk, guys. Make them hurt! Definitely not a Nova Core! I was just gonna be here! No, but they're exactly who I expected! Nice tracks. Nice one, Drax. He'll be feeling that one. They have come to defend the core. Go! That means we disrupted something. Like a hot knife. No, they ain't hot. They're freaks. That could be over. Oh my god. I thought I fell off then. Ain't gonna work, muscle head, but Right. We'll upgrade the rocket abilities because he's the only one without two. And just like that, we're all on two abilities. This time we've got a control Balance. room to play with. Looks like I can remove the clamps from here. Good. We will not be stopped by clamps. 
Ah, sneaky dash bags. They scrambled the power circuit, so I can't release them. I grow tired of these clamps. Gonna have to reroute the circuits one by one to reset the power grid. Here, I'll get the door for you. You should be able to see the grid with your visor. Okay, right. visor's up. Now what? You should see power grids along the walls around here. Find their powered-up nodes. Looking for glowy power nodes. Right. When you find them, you need to electrify the junction switch in the direction you want the power to flow. That's gotta right. be one of the power oh, nodes. Good. Just need to reroute it. My crook is a left lot. Group, I think I have an idea. Use your roots to raise that platform with me on it. Kind of a root root boost thing. Neat trick. Root loves being helpful. He's always helpful. Groot's a little gem, that's what Groot is. I bet I can reroute the power to get myself back out of here. Solid plan. Hell yeah! Who's smarter than Novacore? <laughs> right. So. This would go a lot faster if we all had the ability to scan. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Did no. that do anything? Not yet. You'll have to reroute a couple of them. Kind of right. wondering why Cosmo didn't fetch a bunch of his muscle and do this himself. It's simple. I see it now. You've got half of it rerouted. Now hold on the other room. Okay. I'm getting right. the hang of this. Might be gunning for your job soon. You want to trade? I'm happy. Uh, don't need to open that. Not in there that I need. Not just hear that. Doors open, and I got the power flowing through. Almost qualified to be a junior engineer. Thanks. So, any guesses on what they're doing with all that power? Perhaps they are recharging their personal devices. Their what? Their electronic tablets and assorted communication gadgetry. And do you think they would need power from the ship's core for that? I am no expert in Nova technology. Looks like the wall's weak here. Drax, I need a hole here to reach the grid. Then you will have one. Ta Drax, mate. You know, normally you're not supposed to travel through dimensions without a quarantine and a decompression on the other side. Group, need your help, buddy. Group boost, please. <laughs> Just call Cosmo, tell him we tried, and port the Flark out of here. It ain't our fault Scut was locked down. We will not fail at our mission. I mean, that sounds great and all, but we usually fail at our mission. The clamps are unclamped. Slick. Now get back in here before we leave you behind. Now that we'll we know put the off to leave me behind. Here, we can agree that whatever's <clears> going on upstairs is really bad, right? They were furious when we removed their power source. It must be important to their effort here. Can't wait to smash it. Whatever it is. <laughs> All right, this is our floor. Okay, this has potential. Gamora, can you pry that thing open for us? And bend my sword? Drax, hit that panel where all the wires connect. <laughs> Step aside. To be honest, I didn't think it was a panel. I thought it was a um, thin material that you could cut through. Come out to the coast. We'll get together. Have a few laughs. What's that? Uh, nothing. No, that. They must have flipped the core back. Something's powering up again. Great. Now we're stuck in the ventilation. Great job, Quill. Dude, I know you're peeved, and I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Really? That's it? 
Notice there's more important things happening right now than Quilt saying he's sorry. <laughs> Whoa! Flock and Scott! What are these Franklin Gaboons doing to Contraxia? What is this thing, Rocket? I don't know. Looks like it's siphoning something. Something to do with those cubes? No, no. I gotta get a closer look. Peter Quill, we have been in this hangar before. <laughs> Extensive dog report. Atraxia isn't looking. Uh oh. What is. Uh oh. Piotr Quinn. Something just came up. We'll call you back. Oh, Our experience shit. fighting centurions will be necessary here, woman. Spread out! Watch it, Trax! We're gonna need a strategy to take them out! Should we focus on this one? Drax, destroy! Seal my rock! My guy keeps dodging my shot! All enemies have a Rush weakness! Them, Drax. Most of them ain't too keen on getting blasted! Get out of here. I expected more coordination between them. We could use some coordination ourselves. Branch I will Keep one alive. Get him to tell us about this energy. It's better to just finish them off. Lock them up on the walls and on the ground as well. Get ready. Right. Flying traitor! Once he's down, you'll get your chance, Drax. This will be a worthy battle. Centurions have a lot of tricks up their sleeves. Right. 
That seemed like a wasted effort. All plans need steps to succeed. Ugh, what new age drivel have you been reading? We need to stop the... Rocket, can you see where that vent leads? Anything to get out of here. We should be prepared in case the beast tries to destroy this machinery. There you go. I've done my part. Yeah, thanks. Keep in mind, it may not stay dead forever. We still need a way through. Dog report item. Massive device siphoning energy from Contraxia. Just like I thought. Impressive work, Peter Quill. I just hope it does not cause an explosion. All right, come on, the tunnel's just past here. We got lucky no one else showed up. The Unifier has detected an intrusion. Spread out. It will be contained by, by her, her will. will. Move! There's too many of them. In the hole, jump! Still don't get why you jumped after the kid back then. Top ten dumbest things I ever saw you do. You should have seen how worried he was. Hey, Star Pants was our ticket with the captain. I was worried his death would lead to more jail time. It was adorable. I hate you all. Okay, group. I think I know my way around. We just need to get into the tunnels on the other side there. Pretty sure this is right. Pretty sure? Everything was on fire last time. I couldn't make that happen. No, no. Rocket, no! Ain't that a piece of the Unifier's old ship? Unifier. Yeah, whatever. When we were arrested, <laughs> they mentioned Rafe got caught with the same thing we did. Not exactly the same. He got caught scavenging in the quarantine zone. Nikki mentioned something about fishing for a god, I think. What kind of deity inhabits the quarantine zone? The kind that should probably stay quarantined. I did not realize you were going fell down so far, Peter Quill. I didn't fall. I jumped. Heroically. So, any new ideas on what the oversized vacuum's actually doing to Contraxia? A few. So, we all agree that the captain and her kid are probably dead, right? Corel survived the worst of the war. And a relationship with Peter. Still willing to bet they didn't survive this. You'd wager on whether or not a mother and child are dead. What if only one is dead? Nikki's one of the most resourceful kids I ever met. And Corel's a warrior. I'd bet on both of them any day of the week. Don't get cocky, Quill. Just because you won that bet in the quarantine zone. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Be careful down there, Peter Quill. Yeah. Definitely a lot sparkier than last time. That'll work. What do you say, Gamora? Now that the floor can't kill us? I say, no problem. Well, I'm sure that's where they'd find no an outfit, but Orcrow. I thought there might have been some components, but I guess not. I guess that's good news. We should start thinking about exit plans. The exit plan is to call Cosmo after we get the answers we need. Answers you need, maybe. Don't suppose you've seen Nikki. I'm sorry, what? You feeling okay, Peter? It does not strike me as very safe here, Peter Quill. Better this than getting shot at. Yeah, speak for yourself. You'd rather get shot at? More fulfilling to shoot someone I don't like than look for someone I don't care about. Our leader seems to care, and so we should also pretend to care. I am Groot. <sighs> of course you would. Careful, Peter Quill. Okay, don't remember this green gas being here last time. I think you mean deadly green gas. There! Breezy peasy! Okay, that was bad, even for you. Ah, more death gas! Maybe Nikki and Corral are using it to protect themselves. Or, and hear me out on this, maybe they're dead. You know what, man? You're being a real jackass, like, way more than usual. 
Tension is palpable. Uh, can you both please just get over this? Agreed. Either resolve your issues or fight to the death. Hey, mm. I ain't the one who keeps sabotaging this team. You're the one who quit! Out of frustration with Quill's lack of fleeting-like qualities. Look, Rocket. I know I suck sometimes. We all suck sometimes. Are you sure this is the right way, Peter Quill? It's clearly not. I'm investigating. Right. Dog oh, report item. What's here. The rumbling continues. <clears throat> Nikki's secret hideout is just through here. Thought we were going to the captain's office. We are. Right after we check here. Try not to break anything. This place means a lot to her. Oh, wow. Didn't Nikki paint all this? Pretty cool, right? Nikki? Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. It's Peter. The... the I this would come in handy. Where'd you get a Nova passkey? <sighs> Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby-trap their toys. It's not Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming her stuff now? Because if we are... No, I mean it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with you. Wait, why does she have your toy? It's just something I gave to Corral when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the child? Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill. You will make a terrible father. <laughs> Unless the child is dead, in which case, it does not matter. W wait is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. This doesn't prove anything. The dates match up, so what? That's not how paternity works. Uh, it kinda is. Was Corel ovulating at the time? I don't know! We thought we were gonna die! Can we just focus on if Corel and Nikki are okay? They're clearly not here, so let's move on and keep looking. Right, that's gonna do it for this part, so... Nice one for watching, and see you next time.